world of plastic pop stars and marketing scams, I'm the real deal, baby. I learned everything I know on the streets. I also read a book called The Complete Idiot's Guide to Music, but I'm no dummy. In a former life, if the dice had shaken out a different number, maybe I would have been an astrophysicist. Man's place in the universe. Well, I know my place. Guitar Center. Center for guitars. Some people can see the colors of music, but I can taste it. I can taste the music. Riffs, chops, licks. They all swirl before me like an endless all-you-can-eat buffet bestowed upon me by the gods. My muse is the waitress, and my stomach snarls with hunger. A hunger for exquisite perfection, a quest for the best. The perfect guitar solo, the snarl of a thirsty bass lap, a snaky wank off the old block. With all these cascading melodies pouring off my skin, why would I ever need to use my ointment? My dermatologist kept pleading with me, but I won't have it. I know perfection when I see it. And I look in the mirror every day, don't I? Everything is a mirror. I am projecting my thoughts onto everything. And I gotta say, damn, I'm looking good. I mean, really good. Who needs aviator shades? The brilliance of my abilities can be blinding at times, and I need to take a break. I journey to the mini mall, to the local guitar shop, to see what all the peons have on their minds. Focus on technique, I would say to these youngsters. Hone your abilities to a sparkling sheen, a diamond-encrusted scalpel with which to slice and dice in this world to a perfect moist texture. The endless buffet of melody continues and I need no napkin, nor fork, nor spoon. For my daily bread, I scream for my supper. The howls of inspiration. Nobody in Shreveport ever thought I would make it this far. I'm going to give you the keys to the Lamborghini. Nobody in Shreveport ever thought I would make it this far. I remember my first wank on the guitar. Mmm. It felt like an explosion of perfectly ripened goat cheese, a chave so exquisite that it needed no cracker nor baguette with which to nibble. It simply hovered in the air, the cheese particles suspended like a flurry of perfect guitar notes. The crowd was amazed, but I just yawned. I already knew I had perfection within. The weight of my abilities can feel like a burden at times like a 300-pound sack of flour strapped to my ankle. The, the trick, trick is to add yeast to this flour and let my abilities bloom like, like a gorgeous loaf of brown pumpernickel. The yeast is inspiration, of course, and I find that all around me, at all times. Every human, every situation has a nugget of tender meat enclosed. Everything can be exploited. I buy free-range chicken, though, and my clothes are sweatshop free. I do love to sweat in my clothes though. A good jam session will dampen my pits and glisten my brow and send off volumes to the opposite sex like smoke signals. They can be seen for miles around. The scents linger long after I leave the room and some women have called it a cry for help. A cry for help? What kind of help could you provide, Wanda? You weren't there for me when I needed new karma and a chocolate infusion.